Gary, uh, in the past four rounds you've made 33 changes from the previous league game. Are we going to see many changes tomorrow, do you think? Oh, look, like I said, I've got one more training. I'm going to have a good look at the players. We only had a game a short while ago. Um, but whichever team goes onto the pitch, you've seen it already. I think people get carried away with numbers and changes. I think even with that number of changes, we've put really good performances on. So um, look, I'll pick the team I feel is best, assessing everything into account um, with the players, and, and we put a team out there that can, can do justice. But it's never about the starting eleven. It's, it's everyone together. It's the squad that will travel. All of us will go there together. Everyone will contribute and, and be ready to, to play in the game. You've spoken previously during the season about mentality. Is that the biggest challenge, do you think, tomorrow, the, the mental aspect of it, playing in such a big game? Because you have got a very young team. Yeah, I think, um, what's one, of course, we've got there to win the game and we want to put our performance on, but one also, um, from a manager point of view, and seeing the process that the players are going through this young group, is um, we look at the Newcastle game, for instance, where we had probably the biggest crowd that they've played in front of, that type of atmosphere, be a similar type of of crowd that we'll face tomorrow. Um, we felt that we didn't quite do ourselves justice in that situation, but they've, now that they've experienced it, is to go into another situation where the atmosphere can be like that and, and, and do yourself more of a justice. So um, that's what I'm interested to see if the, this young group or those young players have taken on board what they experienced a few weeks ago and, and able to put it into this game. So from a manager's point of view, that's part of what I'll be looking at with, with the group. But, um, but really, of course, we go there to win the game. And, try and put our best performance on. We want to try and progress in this cup. It's been great. We've had great experiences so far. I think our fans have enjoyed the cup run and, and we want to keep it going. Um, we have to go down and fight for that. You're quite level-headed. You never seem to get carried away. But tomorrow, will you be excited leading Leeds United into Anfield? I'm always excited. You know, it's been great coming into the club every game. Um, game at Rotherham, I was excited. You know, it's, It doesn't matter who we're playing against. Um, my job is really to try and see this group growing. You know, I want to. That's what excites me the most: is, is seeing this group, seeing the work that we do day in, day out, come onto the pitch. I want these guys to be successful. I want them to win games. I want them to improve as players, and, and that's the bit that excites me. Um, going to different grounds, going to this, going to that. Um, of course, it's great, but the bit that excites me is, is working with this group and, and trying to improve them and, and getting them onto a, a better level of performance um, as much as possible. You say you enjoy having tough decisions to make. You are going to have some tomorrow because to some of your players, this is going to be the biggest game they've ever played in, isn't it? Yeah, but that's management, that's your job. Players will all want to play, um, which is good, but they it's not just this game, it's every game. I've had that situation where all the players want to play in every game since the start of the season. And, um, and it's always been a difficult decision, um, picking the right squad. Or Like I said to you before, there's been players that have deserve to start games that haven't. There's been players that have been left out of squads that deserve to be in the squads um, and that's been right the way through the season so it's no different tomorrow night so um, uh, yeah but the ones you've got to make is part of the job. Players understand that as well. Um, some will be disappointed that's the way it is but one thing that the group have become very aware of and, and been great with is that they support each other no matter what whoever steps into that pitch is the full support for them and, and the others that are ready to, to come on and contribute. And last one from me, how hard is it preparing for this game because I don't think anyone's quite sure who Liverpool are going to pick tomorrow night, so how do you prepare for that? Oh, yeah. Like I said, the most important bit is we focus on ourselves, um, how we've been playing in, uh, in recent months um, is most important to us. You know, We know that when we do that and we do it to our maximum, we do it to our best, um, we can be very competitive and we can be very good. Um, it's that that we're fighting for it each day in training. We're fighting for that in each game. Um, so we're focused on that. We, of course, understand what Liverpool can offer. And I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you, with them of who they put on the pitch. They have a squad full of of quality players. Um, so we focus on ourselves, um, make sure that our strengths we can try and put them onto the pitch as best as we can. And, and when we do that, we know that we're we're ready to.